All right, in this episode, we talk about early arm cocking, late arm cocking, which one is it, right? Hey, Brent Porcio, Adam Garcia, Stephen Godani, the at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tip Show, where you go to Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and you ask your question, anything on pitching, uh, or anything we do here at Top Velocity, and put at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tips, and we're gonna answer it on the next episode. And like, like to say again, please subscribe, help us uh, really keep this going. Uh, we wanna uh, answer as many questions as we can for you guys, and, and constantly put out good content for you, and help you guys in your, uh, in your work, uh, in your career, uh, becoming a a high velocity pitcher. So what's the question for today? Steven Volk, with early cocking and late cocking, what position should the arm be at foot strike? All right, so you know we've kind of covered this in our previous one on the arm path, and I'll, once again, I'll post my arm action video to this. Basically goes over the science and what the science shows us of where the arm has to be at each point in, in the pitching delivery. Um, it is a popular video. You know, a lot of guys want to understand the arm path. I just don't like overemphasizing it. In my career, I actually wanted to understand it last. I wanted to really understand the kinetic chain, how I actually get my body to move efficiently up to the point of the arm path, and then I'll have a better understanding of how it moves or how what's driving it, and then I can understand of how it needs to effectively move when it has that energy driving it. So um, it's still a good question though, but don't get too caught up in just the arm path. Uh, learn from this episode, watch my video on arm action, but but go in and get all the really good important stuff, the nuts and bolts, which is down in the lower half, which is a big part of 3x pitching. But to answer that question, the study showed simply uh, that the average um, position of the arm cocking, um, and this is one of my key components also in the 3x pitching velocity program, is that at front foot strike, high velocity pitchers are in what would be in a slight late arm cocking, meaning the elbow is going to be 90% or 90%. 85 degrees to 90 degrees uh, of abduction. That means lifting up. It's gonna be 23 degrees behind the back. That's horizontal abduction. And then it's gonna be 53 degrees of external rotation. So this is zero and that's 90, 53 degrees. But like I said, I break all that down pretty uh, well in the arm action video that's linked to this. But that's where it needs to be. And you can see that's actually a late arm cocking position. So you land it front foot and it's just literally in the process of coming up and that's the best place to be. And what that does is, is as we're late coming into arm cocking at front foot, and if you understand the lower half, which is very important here, at front foot, your hips should be very quick to driving open, and you're late with your cocking, then that creates, and that helps leverage hip to shoulder separation. So don't go off on just the arm path when you don't understand the lower half, because you don't understand what late arm cocking means. Late arm cocking is more important to understand that that it's there or it's considered late to help leverage hip to shoulder separation because the same time we have late arm cocking at front foot strike we want to get into early hip rotation not early hip rotation in the stride after front foot strike early hip rotation I mean those hips are already rotating and they're trying to get open as quickly as possible and then that late arm cocking really means something so if you don't understand how the hips work or how the lower half works late arm cocking really shouldn't mean anything to you it should just confuse you so like I said, you really need to understand the lower half before you go and try to fully understand the, the arm action. Um, and y'all have any input on that? No, you covered it. All right, we got that. That's a good one there. So if you got a question, another great question, go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Top Velocity, hashtag pitching tips. Uh, ask your question, and we're going to answer, answer it on the next episode. And also, too, if you guys out there are getting ready for your season and you guys need help, developing these kind of mechanics, you need some video analysis work like we do here even with our biometric analysis, or you obviously need the programs that we use to effectively enhance ball speed uh, through an off season, um, go to Top Velocity, check out our 3X beginner programs, 3X extreme programs, and also consider coming down to a camp. We highly recommend the camps, we work with you here, you can actually stay and train with us here, and we'd love to have you, and we'd love to help you get to your pitching velocity goals. So we'll see you next time on the show. So. Boys.
Tschüss.